all right guys welcome back to another watering waves update video today i'm going to be telling you guys a roadmap from the 1.3 banners all the way to the 2.0 banners so for the 1.3 the 1.4 and the 2.0 update we've had a lot of new info in the last week which made a lot of changes to the previous roadmap video especially for the 1.4 and the 2.0 banners there's a lot of new stuff so today we're going to be updating it and make sure to like and subscribe Put on those notifications on to be kept updated with watering waves 24 7 and also make sure to leave a comment about this i want to know which incoming character are you looking forward to the most for watering waves but all right let's not waste any time guys starting off with the 1.3 banners we already know the new five star is going to be shorekeeper and we're getting a new four star yuhu that is confirmed for 1.3 they've been confirmed for a while now but the only thing that isn't confirmed is the other 5 star character and the 4 stars on the banner which should be revealed this Friday. Wuthering Waves is finally doing a live stream from 1.3 and I'm also going to be here to cover everything new in the live stream on the channel. But alright so here is what we can expect. First phase is going to be Shorekeeper alongside the new 4 star Yohu and the other 4 stars are going to be Yang Yang and Chixia. And the second phase should be our first ever rerun, the 5 star GN alongside the 4 stars Mortify, Senwa and Tauchi. Pretty good banners I would say, both have very good value. Shorekeeper is going to be a top tier support for a while and Gion's banner is really stacked. He is a great DPS and all the 4 stars on the banner provide amazing value. But I would say Shorekeeper provides the best value among all the new characters for this patch. As she is a support character, she's going to buff and heal your team and that is very hard to come by. We should not be expecting a new support for a while, so I would recommend polling for Shorekeeper for that reason. She'll provide amazing value to any account. But if you want to summon on Jian, he's still a really good choice, a really good DPS. And the fact that all the 4 stars on the banner are pretty damn good. So that is what we can expect for the 1.3 banners. We will get confirmation with the live stream as well as a bunch of new info for the 1.3. I'll make sure to cover all of it on the channel. But now we can move on to the 1.3 banner characters. So for this patch, we also have one confirmed 5 star, one confirmed 4 star, and the other 5 star is mostly speculation. So here is what we know. Kuro drip marketed the 5 star character called Camellia which we've all seen in the story by now. Really amazing character, a lot of hype around her. We think for the weapon she's using, she's going to be a sword user. And for Camellia's element, she's either going to be Havoc or Fusion. I'm mostly leaning on Havoc since we have seen leaks about her being a Havoc for a while now, but it's still not confirmed. She could be Fusion as well. We will see what Kuro ends up doing. But the other character that got drip marketed is a 4 star character called Lumi in which she should be on the same banner as Camellia. I believe they're going to be putting the two new characters on the same banner from now on. They're doing the same thing for 1.3 and now she should be on the same banner as Camellia. But for who are the other 4 stars we don't have the info as of now. But we do have some information on who might be the other 5 star character. We have two options. It seems we are getting another rerun, so it could be between Yin Lin and Jin Z for the rerun characters. It was reported that Yin Lin was the rerun until yesterday I saw another source say Jin Z is returning but it is still quite unclear on who it is. It depends on how Kuro wants to approach the reruns. Do they want to go in order? Do they want to break the order? If they do go in order, it would mean that Yin Lin would be the rerun for 1.4 as she did come out right after Jian in the first patch of the game. Let me know in the comments which rerun would you prefer for 1.4. Is it Yin Lin or Jin Si? Let me know what you guys think. But alright so this does conclude what we know for the 1.4 banners. And now we can talk about what's coming after 1.4. So we are actually going straight to the 2.0 update. So we will be going from 1.4 straight to 2.0. I know a lot of people were thinking that we might have gotten a 1.5 update, but that doesn't seem to be the case. We're going to be going right into the 2.0 update. So now let's talk about it. What do we know about the 2.0 banners as of now? So we've had a ton of speculation about who could be the characters for this patch. 
I know we've had fan favorites that would be characters like Geshulin, Scar, or maybe even a character like Frolova, which could be contenders for this patch as well. As we all know, they want to do something big for this update. And since it's the 2.0, something massive should be coming. And here is what we know for now. In this update, we can expect Camellia's old model to come into play. It seems like they want to base a new incoming character off of this old design here and possibly make her the first ever 5-star gun user in the game, which would be really cool. I've been looking forward to this character for a while now. I've been saying this forever. When are we going to get a new 5-star gun character? And it seems that we're getting one for 2.0. But this old model is called Chun and is said to be coming at the earliest in 2.0. So since it's the earliest, we might not be seeing it until the later patches. So the second option for this design is this one that got leaked here. This one is speculated to be a 2.0 Glacial Gun female character holding a sword and a gun, which she will mainly be a gun user. And for me, this design is would be my favorite design of the two. So hopefully they do choose this one. I would be really hyped to have this character. And 2.0 should also be getting two new female characters. As mentioned, one is a Gun Glacio DPS, and the other one is a broad blade in the form of a violin, which sounds to be a really cool concept. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to be happy about this. The fact that we are getting two new female characters and the lack of male characters that we are getting in Wuthering Waves. I have been seeing a lot of comments. People are not too happy about getting only female characters or only female characters being planned in the upcoming patches which for me is not a problem at all i'm still very hyped for the game i'm still going to play the game and i'm still very hyped for what's to come in the future patches especially if we see the sword and gun character i'm definitely going to pull for this character and she might even be my most hyped character of all time but going back to what we know about the 2.0 update so aside from the characters where it is speculated to have a whole new map and skins might be introduced for the first time as well. 2.0 is going to be really hype, I can't wait for this update. And we can't also leave out the possibility of Geshulin and Scar appearing in 2.0. Although I know it seems very unlikely with all the information going around, 2.0 is two, only two patches away and most of these are not confirmed and subject to change at any moment. So if anything else comes up, I will surely keep you guys updated but for now guys this concludes the 1.3 to 2.0 updated banner roadmap and we shouldn't worry too much about what's to come a lot of this is subject to change anyways but that is all the information we have for now and let's just focus on what's to come for the next update we're going to be getting a 1.3 live stream soon let's see what they have to offer i imagine a lot of hype stuff will be revealed this friday which i will be here to cover on the channel so if you guys enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe, put on those notifications to be kept updated as soon as possible. But that is all for this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.